Hey guys, this is Thomas over here, nursemoneytalk.com. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about when I think you'll start feeling more comfortable as a new nurse. But before I get into that, if you're not already subscribed, I wanna go ahead and invite you to hit that subscribe button on this channel. I talk about all things related to nurse, nursing student, and of course, nurse life. Second thing, if you are a new nurse and you're watching this video, uh, make sure you check out the new Nurse Academy. You can get to that by going to nursemoneytalk.com forward slash new nurse academy. Link will be on the screen and it will also be in the descriptions below. And it's just a course that kind of just walks you through all the practical things um, that you will need to know as a new nurse. So definitely check that out. But let's go ahead and dive right into this. Like when I think you will feel more comfortable as a new nurse, or at least when will some of that anxiety um, like be a lot less? So, you know, I think it's important to note that this is more or less a gradual process, right? Um, as you get off orient, like, you know, you start, you'll be on orientation, you will be horrible for several weeks and then as things kind of gradually go on and then you'll start feeling more and more and more comfortable as you start seeing the exact same thing over and over and over again. Okay, this is like the 30th time I've seen somebody who has diabetes and I have to give insulin to. Okay, they have high blood pressure or high um, blood sugar, I mean, low blood sugar, this is what I need to do. And you start kind of formulating your own internal um, kind of like algorithm of what you need to do. But most importantly, it starts becoming more like muscle memory. You don't have to think about it. Okay, this person comes in with X condition, I need to do A, B, and C in this order, go before then, okay, I need to contact the doctor and I'll probably get um, D, E, and F as, as the order, potential orders. And so that takes time, that takes experience. But if you are wanting a hard number, I actually think one year is probably about the, the good point where you start feeling um, more confident. You start feeling more sure of yourself. This is why, like, if you look at a situation where nurses are trying to do travel nursing, they, you know, generally one year is the bare minimum usually. And even then, like two years, I think it's typically what, what they're shooting for. So, um, because I think, well, I do think depending on the specialty, um, yeah, depending on the specialty and whatnot and the person, I think one year could work. Um, some people it might take more like one and a half, two years, but I would probably say one to two years is really when you start feeling more confident where like, you know, you don't have like, you want to say like panic attacks, just walking into work, unless your unit is just awful in general for other reasons besides the actual nursing part, but that's a separate video. But as for just the actual nursing part, one to two years is probably what you'll be looking at. And if you're looking at scenarios where, um, where you can start make, you know, help yourself kind of work through that process quicker, I think there's a couple of things you can do. One is to check out like, you know, like the new nurse, nurse course, like I mentioned, nursemoneytalk.com forward slash new nurse academy. Um, like I said, links is in the descriptions below. And I think that does a couple of things because I think it, it starts, you start educating yourself, right? You know, so you'll learn, you know, how to prioritize, how to document and, and a whole host of other, other things. And I think that newfound knowledge will help your confident level and will help reduce the anxiety. The second thing is, is I think really learning how to, advocate for yourself in terms of a I'm um, just making sure that you have a very good tight control of like your work life balance um I, I you know I think in general along with my third one which is following a healthy living lifestyle I 
I don't, I think those are overlooked, but I think as you, um, you know, as you're taking care of yourself, setting boundaries, you know, at work and you're doing all those little things, it kind of helps, it kind of manifests itself in, in everything else. That's just kind of my, my thought on that. The last point I would mention is just really looking at, at ways to building repetition, right? Doing the same thing over and over and over again. You, you struggle with inserting Foley catheters, for instance. The solution is not to shy away from it. The solution is to educate yourself and then get more repetition, you know, get more reps in so that you can learn the proper way to do it. And then also not being afraid to asking questions. Definitely don't be afraid to, to ask questions. You know, like I've mentioned before in videos, you can use the comment section, ask questions, you know, other, um, other people at times will just kind of chime in as, as well, but there's also people at work and, and whatnot that you work with. And so I think there's, there's definitely resources out there to kind of help build your confidence within, um, you know, as you're getting off orientation and kind of trying to, you know, get into like your own nursing practice, if you will. But that is all I've got. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and I'll catch you very soon in that next video.